Hi, welcome to Jade Kind Gaming. My name is Adam, and today I'm going to be doing an unboxing of Dungeon of Fortune, which is a small little board game um, that I saw a while back and uh, recently picked up at a good deal. Um, I figured I'd uh, share it off here. It's, uh, plastic wrap is shiny, so let's. Then I have to take a look at this. There we go. And it is a Push Your Luck Dungeon Crawl uh, for two to six players. Um, you know, this was to take about a half hour to figure. Yeah, it seems like a nice little game. Right, we got a box. Got some cards. We have bags to store components. Oh, that is nice. Are these... Okay, so two larger bags, one small bag. Things to store components in. That is very kind. I like that. Is this going to be our rule book? Yes. All right. Over 100 companion ex slash experience tokens. 96 loot tokens, uh, 12 level markers, 80 dungeon cards, 12 character boards, one rule book. Psst, you're reading it now. Okay, so there's a bit of a sense of humor. Okay, I, I like that. Um, let's see, and so you get whatever your character board. So 12 different characters. Uh, let's see here, so you give them. Markers and stuff. Mix the loot tokens face down and count out loot tokens based on the number of players. Okay, so yeah, so two to six players. Yeah, this is probably what I want. Uh, let's see. Each round, players take turns in a clockwise order until each player is stashed treasure or fled. So basically, the idea is on your turn. Okay, on your turn, seek glory or stash treasure. Uh, when you choose to seek glory in your turn, draw from a deck. Uh, may find a dungeon card, dungeon card, dragon card, and the pilfer cards. Okay, not nice to make fun of you know typos, but come on, guys. Yeah, so basically the idea with the game is that you're going through the dungeon and you're trying to collect the treasure and get out before the dragon kills you. Um, When the last loot token has been taken from the supply, the game ends immediately. All players may now flip over the loot tokens in their pouches and satchels. So different kinds of loot are different, worth different points. Most points wins. Yeah. Okay. So, yeah, it's sort of, sort of simple. Alright. Have a look at what we got here. Okay. So the back of these, Dungeon of Fortune. And we have the Alchemist, the Bard, the Dwarf, the Enchantress, the Knight, the Leprechaun, the Necromancer, the Paladin, the Ranger, the Scout, the chieftain and the guild leader, of which I want to point out, those are all like in no reason to be a class. Dwarf is one of them. Dwarf is a class. <laughs> but yeah, so you get uh, different guys, and they each seem to have like a power or something that makes them different to there. Uh, and these things on the side looks to be different as well. So um, yeah, so there are definitely differences amongst them. Some of them have extra powers down here at the bottom. Basically it looks like these are you, as you level up, you get more stuff. Okay, so that's kind of what you got. There are, <laughs> I know, there are six boards of little tokens, and so now I see why they needed those bags. 
Um, but yeah, we had okay. We had loot tokens, which are so we're looking at basically one side of all these. The backs of coins or fronts of companion slash experience tokens. Um, so these all look like this on the other side. The loot tokens could have different amount of coin on them or some gems even. Um, we have our different symbols. This one shows off a number of them nicely. And several of them have, and they each have whatever, character level and dungeon level markers as well. So, anyways, those are the different tokens, and so there's a bunch of those, so I'm really glad there are bags. But then we had the cards. And, uh, let's see, whatever. Open these up. Might as well get both open while I'm at it. First off, let's see, are they all the same back? Yes, yeah, so I'm guessing they all go together. In the end, but you got things here. Hmm. One through five. Which I guess could be your character level. Nah, the dungeon level. So, depending on what level of dungeon you are, so. Let's see. Corresponding to dungeon levels, when you draw a dungeon card, look only at the row corresponding to your current dungeon level. So, depending on what level of the dungeon you're on, each card has some different. That way, the cards work, and so the idea is you're going through a five level dungeon, which you can keep track of marking on the top of your board there. So, a number of these have different things. Okay. And of course, there are some more of those. Hmm, yeah. And then we have. Okay, we have dragons, uh, which represent an imminent threat of a dragon. This is your first or second dragon card, nothing special happens. But as if this is your third dragon card, you must defeat the dragon or flee. So you can, f you can find a couple of dragon cards before things go wrong. Um, dragons require any three companions to be defeated. However, each dragon is weak against a particular companion type. So, like an elder dragon is weak against... Okay. So your companions are these here. So depending on what you have, you can have any three of that, or you can have... One of these ones, I'm guessing is like a Paladin or I'm guessing. Okay, oh I will just point out. We have our companion reference, Mage, Fighter, Cleric, Thief. This one is not referenced in there. <laughs> I'm like, wait a minute, what is it? <laughs> I'm trying to use a look. Anyway, so we have our clerics, our strong against the undead, the emeralds. You could have a fighter in one of the guy, or two or three of anything for your companions. The chromatic dragons. Alright. We have the dragon whelps. And then it wraps back around. So dragon whelps. <laughs> The thief is good against the well. Anyways, so there's some dragons. And then pilfer cards allow you to steal any one loot token from any player's pouch or satchel and add it to your pouch. Uh, 
And because players do not know the value of any of the loot tokens until the end of the game, it does not matter which token you steal. But, yeah, basically this is a this is the one that lets you take from another player. So, yeah. From what I, th that quick overview, generally looks like the idea is you go around on your turn, you can draw a card, uh, let's see, or stash treasure, which is, uh, Basically, in the current delve or round, uh, you no longer take turns, and you basically lock in your progress you have made on this delve. So, basically, the game is played in rounds called delves, and we go around clockwise until each player has either ran away or stashed treasures. So, that's kind of the idea, is you keep going with that. Um... But on your turn, assuming you're not trying to just end yourself and lock yourself out, you're seeking glory, which is drawing from a deck. Which appears to, I'm guessing, based on some of the little icons here, um, if you get a little, you know, some of them, basically there are monsters to fight, there's treasure to be had, there's companions to gain, or experience to gain, um... And you'd use those to fight off the dragons when you come across those. You can occasionally have the opportunity to steal treasure from your fellow players. And if you're doing it, while playing one of 12 different heroes, yeah, 12 different classes, or a dwarf, <laughs> um, and it basically, yeah, going through the dungeon. Um, the box says it takes about a half hour. So yeah, interested in trying it out. And it did certainly have... A, for the size of this box, it had a lot of components packed in. So, that's cool. Um, but yeah, I'll link down below where you can find Dungeon of Fortune if you want to check it out yourself. Um, thanks for watching, and have a good day. Bye.